हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग वेल फॉर योर अपकमिंग भर्तुसा इंटरव्यू एंड आई होप यू हैव गिवन योर स्टेज टू कोडिंग राउंड्स और इफ यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर योर इंटरव्यू एंड इफ यू हैव डाउट्स लाइक इफ दिस इंटरव्यू इज गोइंग टू बी ऑनलाइन और ऑफलाइन इफ द इंटरव्यू इज गोइंग टू बी फॉर वन आवर और द क्वेश्चन विल बी आस्क ओनली फॉर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स और ट्वेंटी मिनट्स सो दीज आर ऑल द क्वेश्चन यू हैव इन योर माइंड सो इफ If you want answer of all these questions, then please watch the video till the end, and please do subscribe this channel so that you can get more interview experience in the upcoming times. Okay, so let me share the recent interview experience and all of these questions answers. Very honestly, the last time what they have done that is for Bharthusa, they have conducted the interview in person. Okay, that means they have called the students in their campuses. Okay. and not for all few for few campuses they have called the students at their campuses and then uh, they took the interview in person okay and uh, earlier than 2024 they have conducted their exams uh, interviews online only okay and for this year you can expect online and offline both so for few campuses they can ask to come at their campuses okay and for few the interview will be conducted at uh, uh, like uh, in a hybrid mode okay i hope you understood and uh, let me just share one more thing that is uh, one more doubts you have how much time the interview will be longer okay so that is uh, for few students very honestly if the interviewer is liking your answers then they can conduct the interview for one hour okay and it happens it happens that's why i'm telling uh, the interview has uh, lasted for 1.5 hours as well and for the regular students for the regular students 10 to 15 minutes they conduct the interview and it is not true that if the interview is lasting for 10 to 15 minutes then uh, they are not selected y yes they are selected but sometimes interviewer likes someone's answers okay so that's why they conduct the interview for 1 hour 1.5 hours that's why okay not uh, that much important but 15 hours is the usual time for the 15 minutes is the usual time for the uh, interview okay so let me share the important interview questions which was asked recently for uh, vartusa so that it will be helpful for you and one more questions you might have that technical interview and hr interview will be conducted at when at when like uh, after technical interview how much time you have to wait for the hr round okay so these are all you have questions right so after the tr round technical round if you are selected for the technical round then it will be redirected to hr okay next panel will be set up for you and hr rounds will be started okay i hope you understood same interviewer will uh, not ask the questions but hr will ask the questions okay so let me share the technical questions at first then i'll share the hr questions then okay so the first question as you can see uh, write the code structure for encapsulations but the first question was actually introductions okay so for the all the interview you have in the upcoming time for any mncs then you must be prepared for the introduction and there include all the academic details your achievements your hobbies your uh, like performances skills and uh, extra curricular activities okay explain these then just trialing with the project like uh, at the end just mention about the project and they'll ask the questions from the project again okay like uh, what was the project all about and then uh, like uh, what did you do in the project and uh, like what was your role and how did you manage to solve some problems okay and how did you handle some problems and uh, this type of project related problem they will ask like what is the Uh, future scope of this project okay after this project uh, questions they will ask you questions related to your uh, role your cv okay that means uh, let's say your cv is full with java c++ then they will obviously ask you questions from oops concept okay and these questions will arise that is write the code for encapsulation so oops concept the basic questions are Uh, what are the pillars of oops and their definitions etc etc these are the basic questions as you expect the higher packages so they will ask you advanced questions okay so they may ask you to write the code structure for encapsulations okay so you must be prepared for these like uh, you must be good in java okay because you have given the exam in java so you have to be prepared very well for java okay and for the base package they may ask you questions from prime code okay prime number code uh, let's say palindrome let's say um reverse string reverse uh, like these are the questions they may ask for base package but if you are 
expecting the higher packages then they are going to be asked uh, they are going to ask you the questions from the advanced sections like uh, encapsulation code okay let's say inheritance code so uh, like polymorphism code okay so these are the codes they may ask you if you are not able to give the proper answer then at least try to give the logic and give the structure uh, like like structure of the codes okay that will be also working okay what are the different types of access specifiers as you know private public default these are all uh, like access modifiers in uh, access modifier or access specifier in java in c++ python etc so you have to mention these and when you are answering these then try to give all the differences like um, at first give the definitions examples syntaxes codes uh, if you are giving all of this now then it will be uh, like impactful answers like uh, any for any questions if you are giving answers then try to give the definitions try to give the example okay try to give the code example real time example and also syntax okay so this will be actually impactful answers okay now the next question was why we don't declare functions using a private access specifiers okay i hope you know so please try to give the answers wisely and don't tell anything apart from the actual things okay like they are asking about access specifiers if you are giving answers uh relate not related to this then it will be badly impacted okay why don't we declare functions using a private access specifiers so is these are real questions so it is possible to give a private uh, access specifiers okay but they are asking this type of questions so you have to give the answers wisely okay so now the next question is how we can how we can how can we bind or encapsulate a huge number of classes that is 100 into a single library so uh, this type of advanced questions they may ask you okay how to create our own library in c++ so if you are like the candidate was from c++ like he has given c++ as a skill set in in his or her resume so that's why they are asking questions asking questions from c++ okay so if you are from uh, java then they will ask questions from library of java okay what are the different methods of date in javascript so it is being asked because the candidate has given javascript html css as their skill set so that's why they are asking sometimes if you have not given anything in your resume then they may ask you questions from anywhere okay so it is better if you have given the skill sets in your resume okay now what are the various types of algorithms you use like uh, you used algorithms like greedy algorithms dynamic programming uh dj algorithms etc etc so what uh L algorithms did you use in your exam in your java code in power coding in stage 2 coding in fast coding what the java code or uh, algorithms you used you have to answer that okay so be prepared for that like please go through the codes you have written in your exams okay now if data is humongous and unsorted which searching and sorting technique will you perform so uh, this is very important questions this is from uh, like uh, dsa so they ask they will ask you please uh, tell all the sorting methods okay please tell all the sorting methods and explain one sorting method fully okay let's say quick sort okay merge sort if you are uh, good with quick sort then explain quick sort fully with the definitions with the advantages disadvantages time complexity then the syntax then the codes etc you have to be prepared with that okay so what are the like advantages disadvantages you have to know about that okay then difference between the merge and quick sort you have to know that difference between iteration and recursion so using recursion they may ask you some codes from iterations also they may ask you some code to write okay and very honestly they will ask you the code in uh, to write the code in uh, let's say notepad okay if you are familiar with the vs code if you are familiar with eclipse if you are familiar with intellij id okay so there may be uh, you have enabled the auto uh, like auto uh, suggestions right auto suggestions if you type uh, system then it will automatically fill uh, system.out.println but you have to write the code in notepad so there will be no suggestions auto suggestions so you have to prepare in in such a way so that you can write the code from your own fully okay so i hope you understood so 
uh, I hope you will give importance whatever I have told. So let me go to the next question. But before that, guys, I want you to have the prime materials of Bartusa, which will be very much helpful for you if you are preparing for the first round, second round, or stage two power coding or anything or interview, anything. Then it will be very much helpful because here we have included everything from first round to interview round, from technical round to HR rounds, like uh, everything. How to answer? Uh, how to effectively answer? Everything we have uh, like included. So please go through that. Please visit topmate.is slash technology. The link will be given in the description box. Please have that and crack the interview. So the next question is this uh, right the code using recursion for the below conditions. So uh, like just see the questions and try to guess the difficulty of questions they are asking in uh, Vartusa on campus uh, drive. Okay. I hope you understood. What are the different types of joins you use like inner join, outer join, etc. etc. Uh, when you are giving just the types don't tell uh, in short okay when you are giving the answers at first uh, tell all the types of joints okay tell all the types of joints then try to give the answers for definitions okay give the definitions of those okay i hope he wants to so the next question is give an example for inner join and right outer join okay inner join and right outer join you have to be prepared in such a way so that you can answer at least for sql you have to be prepared with these questions like uh, uh, what are the different types of keywords you used okay so what are the different types of keyword you used unique key primary key schema table what is dbms what is rdbms what is the difference between um, uh, what is the what is the uh, functions of a dba etc so these are the very important questions because these are the common questions they will ask okay and they may ask you to write a query okay they may ask you to write a query on uh, like uh, please find out the second max salary of an employee second max salary of an employee from a table so write the code uh, sql query in that notepad okay or the chat box so i hope you want to you you have to prepare about that okay so the next question is uh, which um how many types of styles are there in css so this is because they have given css as their uh, skill set so that's why they have asked the questions if you have given let's say uh, not web development let's say if you have given your skill set at dig as digital marketing as let's say uh app development okay so they will ask you from app development they will ask you questions from digital marketing only like how the seo works how email marketing works etc etc okay uh name of some certifications you have done along with the sources and do you have any questions for me so sometimes what students do mistake that is do you have any questions for me so students tell that no i don't have any questions or how much salary do will i will i have how much salary in hand i will have so if the questions is this this way now so they will not going they will not, they will not hire you okay they will fire directly why because they want uh some enthusiasm in you okay they want to see how much uh enthusiasm in you to learn more okay so just answer this way like uh is there any scope to get python uh python uh, role or if there are any possibilities that i'll be learning on java full stack or if there is if there is any possibility that i'll learn ai in uh, Partusa if i get onboarded so they will just see how much enthusiasm in you uh, like how much enthusiasm you have okay so i hope you understood so just give the answers uh, wisely i hope you understood so for the next round if you are selected then they will ask you some hr based questions like any reason for choosing this particular college are you ready to relocate so this is very important question be prepared with this question uh, actually these questions they have asked to know how much proficiency you have in english okay uh, have you done any internships uh, are you ready to sign an agreement of two years yes you have to know about that these policies and the terms and conditions you have to know brief me about your recent project okay and are you ready to work in python or java why do you want to join Vartusa? is there any uh, if there are other it industries in the market why Vartusa? you have to research about Vartusa very well like what is the objective of Vartusa? okay you have to know about that then try to know what are the recent project they are working okay and also what domain they are top okay they are being top okay and what are the performance like what are the achievement they have you have to know about this 
okay and then sit for the interview who is the current ceo okay you have to know about this so i hope you understood guys so please do subscribe this channel to know more about the interview experience and if you want me to upload any other companies content then please do subscribe this channel and comment down your suggestions and share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this and please please guys if you want any other companies material like top 25 mnc's materials we have in our uh, like top mint slash tech to underscore web the link will be given in the description box visit that and get like accenture capgemini delight and tech mahindra uh, then uh, like many others mahindra rise uh, virtual size itself uh, like everything we have so please visit that and grab the opportunity to get a job at any mnc thank you